Dylan McCallan on the pole, Jonathan Davenport on the outside. This is your Dixie Chopper Feel the Thunder. Jonathan Davenport is your leader in the NLF number one, Tyler Bruning in second, Dylan McCowan third, James, they reworked this track ever so slightly before those modified beat mains, and man, it looks really, really sporty right now. Well, they squeeze through there, and they're still at a three wide. Chris Simpson, Tim McCready, Ricky Thorne Jr. Down the back straightaway, Ricky Thorne Jr. started back in 10th. Right now, bidding for a top five. Right now, he runs in fifth. In fact, he will go to fourth. And here comes RTJ. So it's Davenport, Bruni, McCowan. Thornton to fourth. Simpson fifth. Sixth is McCready. Seventh is Hughes. Eighth, Weiss. Ninth, Owens. In this race, 45 laps in lane. 23 laps down. As Davenport continues to lead. But Bruni several car lengths back. And Ricky Thornton Jr. now on the bottom, Dustin. Here comes the 20 RT. He's moved to third around McCowan, and they're three wide back there. The lap car of Hilsevic, and Ricky Thorne Jr. has gone from 10th to second at the halfway mark. It was three seconds flat, then it was 2-4. Now it's 1.8. Oh, Davenport's got to be careful. Remember what happened to the show we went under here a year ago? Oh. And he's got, oh, and he slows down a little bit coming out of four. Ricky Thorne there, Jr. is there. There he is, yes. Here comes Thorne on the bottom. Now there'll be no lap cars between first and second as he wow. clears Stevens. We got a battle here, nine to go, Dustin. No lap traffic between them momentarily as they put another lap on the 51 of Larry Ferris. Davenport trying to use that car as a pick between himself and Ricky Thorpe Jr. this time by James. Eight laps to go. Here comes RTJ. Sporting that Midwest Sheepman to Lawrence Spoiler. He is there down the back straightaway from 10th. Going for the lead. Davenport has been unchallenged this entire race. That was close. Well, we have a new leader off of turn four. And Davenport, the crossover at the line. Half a car lead, JD. Seven to go, Dustin. We got a race in Wheatland. Yes, we do. I think Ricky Thornton Jr. thought about a major crossover right there and then thought a little better of it, trying to bide his time. But the Sands are quickly running out of the hourglass. This time by six laps to go. And Davenport's able to put a couple car lengths on Ricky Thornton Jr. right there. But look at the lap traffic in front of your race leader. Davenport trying to stay as far behind a Max Blair as he can. White flag, one to go in the Cowboy Classic. Final time around for the driver of the Lance Landers Motorsports 49, Jonathan Davenport, Ricky Thornton Jr. right there, just a couple car lengths back as they head into turns three and four for the final time. Davenport will stay on the bottom. He'll get it done. The winner of the 10th annual Cowboy Classic is Superman Jonathan Davenport.